All right, Bob. Greetings, greetings, viewers. This exercise workout is for beginners. It's going to be great for older adults and for beginners, and it's going to be for the upper body, the shoulders, and a big benefit, good posture. It's going to improve your right. posture. It's a big Very benefit. Very important. That's right. Uh, so we got 9.3 seconds of an introduction that Bob and I are doing something or I don't uh. know, a song. Anyways, and we'll be right, right, right back. Right back. Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Okay, as beginners, you probably already have purchased your bands, maybe not, but make sure you get a band set that typically have four or five, five, right. five different bands. Different colors represent different resistance. It's very clear once you pull on them, okay? And also, make sure you get a set that has a door anchor, okay? We're going to show you how to use this so it's very clear. Most as, have it. Yep, yeah, most do. Look at the picture, and you'll see they'll put that in the set. Um, so we're going to get on, watch the video on how to use this. Right. It's going to be very necessary and helpful, and then we'll have more fun in just a moment. <laughs> okay, so with bands like we have here, you'll get handles. You'll get usually four or five bands or different colors, different resistances, and they will give you a door anchor that looks like this, or at least make sure you get one when you order your set, but I think they all do. Um, with the door, to demonstrate it, you put it in there, and you simply close the door, and make sure, that's a good example of what you want to make sure the door is locked, and then you can pull on this, and as long as no one walks through the door, you're safe. It's going to work out well. Now, you can do it at this level. You can do it over the top of the door, and you can slide it all the way down and do the same thing at the bottom end. And you're going to find out why that's important in just a little bit. So uh, let me just show you what it looks like once we got it all connected. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like. You have your bands, you put it through the loop, closing the door, obviously I have it at the high level. There'll be some exercises from, th from this level that you can do, and we're gonna go through and show you how this works at three different levels. Hold on, we'll be right back. Okay, in general, starting out, 10 repetitions is a good goal. Do up to 10, by sure. the 10th one, you're feeling the muscle burn a little bit. Don't overdo it the first time you exercise. Right. Most everyone does, though. Get sore. Yeah, get sore muscles the next day, and then, you know, you're getting stronger. Okay, uh, resistance. How to change resistance with uh, bands is very nice. Big advantage, in my opinion. Uh, Bob's, too, I think. And right. I think most people will agree. Uh, here we have one Three band. ways. If you put a darker band on, a green's a little harder. Or gray, uh, gray or, or black. Gray or black is typically the most aggressive in the set, okay? I think all the time as far as I'm aware of. The other thing you can do is you can add two different bands right. on the handles just Same like handle. that. Yep. Right. Okay. And then, now, you saw us using the door anchor. We use wall anchors that you mount to the wall. If you really like them, you could get them. Look below when we have a link to them. More permanent. Yep. And uh, this is what I use. I have actually 10 of these on the wall. And I have bands all over the place, so it's a little more efficient. But that's... The wife loves you. Yeah, for a beginner, really, three or four is yeah. more than enough. Right. Okay, so how you change the resistance of a single band, you have it on the anchor. Actually, Bob, you used to use a bed post, didn't you? I did. Yeah, back in the day. Yeah, I screwed it up. <laughs> I did, I screwed it up. You screwed the bed post up? Yeah, I did. What the hell did it you do? It got disconnected from the bed. Did, did it? come off and hit you in the head? Start to. <laughs> Be careful if you're going to use something like that. So let's say we're doing this posture exercise, and you think, oh, that's pretty easy. Simply stand back another foot or two. That'll increase the resistance. Right. Use good judgment. These do break as they wear out, or maybe yeah, I... As they're afraid... They're, yeah, if they're afraid, you've you got to be careful. I've been yeah. working out with these consistently for four years now, and they rarely break. And right. I work my, the daylights out of mine. I have fun with it. So sure. um, change the distance. Change add on, the amount. Yeah, the, the color or the amount of uh, bands. All right. Okay, the first set of arm exercises we're going to do. Bob's going to show the first one how you can do it. Like so, stand on the bands, and it's simply 
biceps, the old traditional, yep, shoulders back, elbows stay still as opposed to working them like this. If you're using a wall anchor or the door anchor, you can set it at the low level. This works very nicely. It's the exact same mechanics that Bob is doing. It's just a little bit different angle, which can be beneficial. Right. So we're doing this, again, not this. Elbow is stationary. All we have is forearm movement. Isolate that bicep, get those biceps to grow, okay? Now from there, you can do shoulder flexion. Bob, so we're just gonna go straight up in front. All right, so sho shoulder flexion. Bob's doing it standing, I got it at the low level anchor, and you go up, and we suggest 90 degrees versus going up like that. If you have any shoulder issues, sometimes going higher can create an impingement and pain. So let's eliminate that. You still get good shoulder workout. You can do one at a time, okay? Again, 10 of them, and then you can go right into shoulder abduction, works a different Deltoid Same muscle. thing, thumb up. Yep, let's do thumb up. And so it's out to the side. Now, if you're using the wall anchor or the door anchor, you only can do one at a time. It, it, yep. it just doesn't work. And that's okay, too. Uh, thumb up. Yeah, I actually yeah, like thumb. to do a th thumb or palm uh, neutral. down. Yep, right. neutral position. One way or another, the rule of thumb with all these exercises should create no pain, with the exception of muscle fatigue pain. So any knife-like, any sharp pain, something's going on, listen to your body, skip that exercise. Good point, Brad. And turn this way, do the other one, do the 10. And look at the posture. Bob's got his shoulders back. I just realized that, oh, my shoulders aren't back enough. Okay, going on to the next set. All right, this next set of exercises is really going to help your shoulder, the muscles controlling your uh, whole shoulder girdle, nice upper body strengthening exercises, and again, posture, posture, posture is a great benefit. Good for the shoulder blade. Yeah, so Bob's going to talk about what I'm doing to make that important. That He's actually taking the shoulder blades and squeezing them uh, together. That's right. They're coming together. So, like an accordion. Yeah, there you go. I think about my sternum going towards the wall and my shoulder blades touching each other and it really seems to work those. I can feel those muscles burn, get a little further back. Now that's something you're gonna to wanna to make, just make a habit of that particular mechanics, because from here we can do this, then we can go straight down, gets the lats right. a little bit more. See how I extend and push out that chest and shoulders back, and then of course, the famous W. W. W for, for winning win. or Wisconsin like that, and that works a little bit of rotator cuff in there as well. So it looks like this. This is gonna be less resistance. If you notice, I moved forward because this is, the muscles are Top not- to do. Yep, right. they're not strong, but they're important muscles. And you can vary that. Ooh. So I'm not doing this, elbows stay still. Watch this elbow, see how the hand rotates around that point. That's important. Whoa, shoulders are getting tired. <laughs> All right, hold on, I need to take a break. Okay, the next set is gonna work the, the pec, the muscles in front, and the triceps from the same position. I, you might need more resistance. Right. I'm gonna add another uh, band. I wanted to show you how to do that anyways. These are powerful muscles. Yep. If you've got the bands that have the clips, that clip on really nicely and quickly to the handles, Okay, and if you have the door anchor, you simply put it through the loop there. The wall anchor will fit two up to three bands in there, which is really handy. I'm gonna adjust that to get it even. Okay, now the back goes to the wall, and these are flies, so the arm movement is bend in the elbow, palms facing forward, and you're gonna come together like that until they almost touch, and then come back. We call them flies. So you probably gotta step away. Yeah, right. step away. Make sure you don't get way back here, because you can pull the muscle, either that or dislocate your right. shoulder. It's not comfortable. This should be comfortable. So right. comfortable distance, and together in here. And you know, you'll know you get a distance, or you're a feel for a resistance and where you need to be and get 10 like that, you'll feel this really works those pec majors. It's a nice exercise for that, okay? Now the triceps, all you're gonna do is simply go like this, 
elbow is at the same level as the shoulder, and then they're going to stay stationary. And all we do is extend the elbow. Yeah, pretty much a right angle. Yep. So from here out. And the nice thing about bands, like right now, I'm working my core muscles. Right. Quite a bit. And this is a nice a bonus. benefit. Bonus. Right. So your balance actually gets challenged, particularly if you're a senior yeah. or an older person. This is really a nice benefit. Okay. Got one more set. Okay, this next set is really nice because this is an exercise that's really difficult to do at, at home. home. Yes. But what you're going to do is a anchor up high or with your door anchor, you're going to put it on top of the door and close the door so you can work at this angle. And that's those lat muscles. Right. It's just hard to do it. Hard home. to do. And you can either sit down like this and out to the side and pull down. So you're getting some pec muscles and those you lap muscles. You look like you're flying. Right? Oh, yeah. Right. Yep. Now, if you really want to work the leg muscles as well, take the stool out if you feel safe doing this. I just start here, and I'll slide down to where I'm comfortable and work those. Again, a double bonus. Double bonus. Just another benefit of these bands. And then if you want, you can do tricep here like this. It just happens to work out well. So you don't have to do them the way I just showed you standing. Or you can double up on them and really get those triceps that all three of those heads bulging and stuff. <laughs> and my quads are starting to burn right now. I'm getting up. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I think that's going to be a real good start upper body workout for you with the bands. Follow instructions carefully. Be careful. And Bob, once again, this has got nothing to do with we it. We can fix it about anything. Except for. A broken heart. Right? And banding is probably not going to help. But, you know, what the heck. We'll give it a shot. Sounds good. Well, I'm looking at the wrong camera. <laughs> Me too. <laughs>